All right, lots of stuff happening tonight. And joining us now, there we are. Hey, joining us now is our event photographer and the spotted guy, Keith Arenick. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be back. Yeah, great to have you. So we just mentioned those two events happening, but there's also one event happening tonight. So tell us uh, what Eats and Beats is all about. Eats and Beats is a Thursday night uh, concert series at Evergy Plaza downtown Topeka. And this tonight will be uh, the uh, cover band. Um, they put on a great, their classic rock band put on a great show. Um, so I encourage everybody to come down to the Evergy Plaza in downtown Topeka and enjoy a concert. The weather should be great, the rain should be gone. We should have a good time. Yeah, and it's not just live music though. There's also food trucks, right? There's, yes, there's food yeah. trucks. There's, there's all kinds, of could be face painting. You never know what you're gonna get, but they put on a, a, a good time for people to come out. Absolutely, and here's some pictures right now. But also happening all weekend, I think that starts today, is the Lucas Oil Drag Racing. So tell us about that. Well, this weekend marks the beginning of uh, racing out at Heartland Motorsports Park. And they start with the Lucas Oil Drag Races, which is kind of a step below the NHRA. They're NHRA, but, but they're, they're, not, they're kind of like the Division Two. But you have great racing. Uh, if you love racing, come on out. It's going on, uh, starts today all day tomorrow, all day Saturday, and they finish up Sunday with the uh, finals. So if you're into racing, come out to Heartland Motorsports Park. You're gonna see some great races. Yeah, lots of chances to get, get out there and see that for yes. sure. Is there anything else you're covering this weekend? Uh, well, Saturday morning, uh, Patterson Legal Group is distributing backpacks full of uh, school supplies okay. out at uh, uh, Stormont Vale Events Center at the Mainer Conference Center, which is uh, 17th and Western. So if you need a backpack, if you need school supplies, uh, come on out, uh, you, you know, and, and it's free from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, and now we're showing some video from National Night Out. Now, that's coming up next weekend. Yes. I can't believe that's already here. So I know it. tell us what people could expect for that. Uh, well, next Friday uh, is the National Night Out kickoff party at High V. And it just kind of gets the National Night Out started. It's in the parking lot. There'll be a lot of vendors there. The Shawnee County Sheriff uh, Department will be there. The Police Department will be there. The Highway Patrol will be there. And it's a chance to just kind of meet your officers face to face. And then Saturday um, is National Night Out. And National Night Out is a chance for neighborhoods to get together and have a party. Some neighborhoods have just an ice cream social. Some neighborhoods go all out with the barbecue and a car show, but it's a chance to get to know who your neighbors are and a meet, a meet and greet, so to speak. And the idea is that if you know your neighbor, you create a safer neighborhood. Very true, yeah, that's always a very popular event. I'm really glad that's yes. back this year. Yes, it, yeah, it, they have taken a, a couple of years off. They were, they were out last year, but uh, kind of in smaller numbers. Yeah. This year, they're going all out. Okay, well, Keith, we are looking forward to seeing all your pictures and videos from these events. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. And you can find his pictures and videos up on our website. Just head to fox43topeka.com.